Hurts. They've got to get back on transition defense, but it's a four guard offense. This is a group that has been playing together for quite a few years, and so I feel they've got a lot of confidence in each other. Off the mark is Queen Egbo, so a great opportunity for the Mercury to strike first here. Tarasi for three. You betcha! She was wearing her LeBron James shoes tonight. Love it. Our officiating crew tonight, crew chief Jeff Wooden, Lanka Burns, and Kelly Bloomfield. 26 points. Nice take by Skylar Diggins-Smith, and she earns a trip to the free throw line as well. This is a fever team that suffered its worst loss of the season, losing by 26 in their last game, as D-Rob connects from distance. Well, that's a shot right there that the Mercury are willing to give up. That's only the fifth three-pointer that, that Robinson has hit this season. Skyler Diggins-Smith connects from the elbow. D-Rob directing traffic. Emily Engsler getting set to check in for the Fever. Smith hassled by Cunningham and draws the personal foul. Yeah, Smith so strong. Indiana is one of the worst free-throwing teams in the entire WNBA. Tarasi triple, you betcha! Shot clock continues to tick down, now in single digits, Diana recognizing. Three is on the way and it is good! That's three triples already for Diana Tarasi! More of the same, Engsler working hard down low, doesn't get the foul call and it's Mercury basketball. Inside to Sophie Cunningham, she's not gonna miss from there. D-Rob is on the run. Bounce pass to Smith, broken up by DeShields. And it gets out to Mitchell. Three is on the way and good. She plays the second most minutes in the WNBA behind only Ariel Atkins as DeShields connects down low. You know, we've got guards, so there's getting more touches. They're more versatile. Smith. A great bucket against Gustafson, who tried to do everything she could to defend her. Kelsey Mitchell swinging to Smith. Nice move. Now this is a young athletic team. And Your five on the floor for the Mercury. Petty, Gustafson, Cunningham, the Shields, and Diggins Smith. Shot clock winding down. Gustafson finishes. Lexi Hall attacking, probing and then getting it inside to Cannon, and she gets the roll. No turnovers for Phoenix in that first quarter. Annie, and I know you're happy about that. Sophie Cunningham gets the three to go. Even happier about that, right? The Sky, who loses the handle, Lexi Hull is there with yeah, her hands it, defensively. The tough bounce pass, it never really came up to dig it. No surprise there, since she's top four in the WNBA in that department. Three on the way is good. And there goes Vivians intercepting the pass to Tarasi. Tried to draw the foul on DeShields who wanted to travel and Vivians connect. And uh, but the hard part, she stayed on the floor and, and uh, let the officials know about it. Vivians, three on the way is good. Vivians has been a problem. She has scored the last eight for Indiana. Kelsey Mitchell ends that with yet another triple. D-Rob with a take, and she gets the roll. Petty turning the corner against D-Rob. DeShields with some daylight and gets the finish. Fever up four. Kelsey Mitchell just locked up defensively. Smith at 6-4, almost not tall enough to handle that pass, but then gets the burner to go. Under three minutes to go here, second quarter. DeShields swings it across court. Three on the way is good. Gathers herself, and what a move by Mitchell right there. Gracious. Tarasi is able to chase the rebound down, gets it ahead to DeShields. And she finishes with no dribble to get to the basket from where she took off from. D-Rob reversing but doesn't get the roll. Bodies fly. Engsler again in and out. No. And the ball stays with the fever and off the window goes Smith. The shield surveying. Blows by Vivians. Wow. Okay, Diamond. The clock stopped with 6.6 .6 seconds to go, and it will be Fever basketball. 
Mercury up to Vivian's. Battling for the rebound. Tries to come up with it and it winds up with a fever. D Rob ahead to Kelsey Mitchell. She's not going to miss from there. She's got 14. Held to just five points so far. Sophie Cunningham with the shot clock winding down. Gets it to Sky. Corner three is good. How are you doing, Sky? Well, great shot, but also Smith puts it on the deck. Mid range jumper in and out. Queen Edbo is there for the rebound and put back. Yeah, Cunningham could only do so much. Her first instinct was to block out. She reset down there in the corner. Tarasi triple try on the way is good. Kelsey Mitchell is going to have a headache after this game, facing all these double teams that the Mercury are throwing at her. And the Mercury going into that zone. Put back. And Turner did a great job getting that ball back up there. It looked like a great drive by Skyler for that. Petty thought about the three, dumps it into Turner. Nice, but doesn't finish. Digging Smith for three. We'll take that. Another two-game win streak, something they've done a couple of times already this season. Tarasi, triple, is good! Diana's got 19! Kelsey Mitchell getting it back to Melissa Smith. Anderson puts it on the deck, gets it to Cannon. Mid-range jumper is good. Yeah, Cannon has been solid off the bench. And this is a Mercury team trying to get to 500 here at home. Tarasi is cooking with gas, ladies and gentlemen! Melissa Smith trying to go around. Here comes a triple Great team. Hand. Petty winds up with the basketball. Triple team defense down there. And Rashonda Gray with the finish. Welcome to the Mercury. The Mercury have converted into nine points. Looking to do some more damage here late third quarter. Oh, nice back door. Bounce pass to Petty, who gives it right back. Up and in goes Breezy. Cannon whips it over to Smith. And they wanted inside the Cannon. They wanted three seconds. They felt that Cannon was in there an awful long time. Yeah, they, three seconds was there to call. It just wasn't made. Skyler digging. Smith gets the floater to go. Finally got her first one to go on that floater. Danielle Robinson kicking it back to Cannon. Up and in. The intensity level coming out of this fever group much more dialed in. And Sky gets the roll. And so it will be Fever basketball. And, the, and she's got to be smart. She's got to stay in the game, not fall out. Kelsey Mitchell trying to get by Turner. Dumps it off to Inksler, who's denied by Diamond to Shields. Woo! Get that out of here, boo-boo. We've got another game against the Fever on Wednesday night here at the Footprint Center at 7 o'clock. Cunningham, three is good! Hey, the travel has been brutal. Tarasi, triple, is true! Diana with 27! Tarasi leading all scores with 27. Tarasi with the seven made three-pointers. As Phoenix looks to salt away a win and get their third two-game win streak of the season. We are going to win game two by a dozen. 83-71 is going to be the final as the Mercury win this final quarter, 17-11. to So mark it down with a Sharpie. It's a third two-game win streak of the season for the Mercury.